Parti! Kuno! Banco Quisa! Come and see Come on, you! We tell you, Ada. You may be thinking that you are going to have to pay for the pension. No money, Apart from the fact that we are going to be able to pay for the pension, we are going to have to pay for the Elo te te tuwe kati kuchi kuchi ntuichi ashiri omu aichi wandichi li chonse Inga ndiai fiole tila papu Fionse Tapari fiole la ndapati Yo Inepano panga ndani panga ndapamu andi Tatu waku pere ten deshi we Tatu waku pere ten deshi Ukweba ti afta Afta ten deshi Ufume po panu Pantu ine I will not stand here And allow you to insult me in my husband's house Iwe No Iwe Ninga ni panga ndapamu we panu this house belongs to my husband. No, but husband, you you pull over. You pull over. O kuringa na ndevi tuwa ufu ne pe sambwe zamfa. Fu ne nuti ya fara tuemba mayo. Mufu me no tuwa na tuwa nuto tuni. Come on, money. Nana tuwa kuisa. Nana nana tuwa kuisa junior. You ma uila kaka. Nana tuwa kuisa. The baby is special, but no one. Okay, we can find any one to support. Usually, it's the envy and greed for property by the family of the divorced or deceased which regrettably stirs this ferocious act. Some traditional norms continue to support the belief that since they provided upbringing support to the divorced or deceased husband, they have the rights to inherit property left behind and that it does not belong to the wife. In most cases, it's the women and children who fall prey to this scourge. There is need to address traditional cultural practices that promote property grabbing in order to ensure that such property is fairly distributed. Property grabbing deprives a firm foundation for personal and family development. Write a will to prevent property grabbing which can lead to poverty. Under the Zambian laws, property grabbing is a crime and if reported to the police, the property is repossessed and the perpetrators can be jailed.